Teresa Wan from SMK St. Teresa, Kuching, Sarawak. The topic is pressure. Under the guidance of Mr. Noor Azhar bin Husaini, please welcome Charlotte, Macaulay, and Rachel. Which, by the way, is about one kilogram of sugar. 
Wow, that is quite a lot of force, don't you think? Yeah. That was really interesting. But uh, how about I show you something that you probably haven't seen before? Okay, uh? sure. Ooh, what is this? Hold on. A weird bottle contraption and a balloon? Uh-huh. These weights. This looks really interesting. There you go. Ta-da! Oh. Well, since my colleague's out of breath, allow me to do the experience with this one. See, when the balloon was placed on the mouth of the bottle, the air pressure in and around the bottle was equal. But when the inflated balloon is placed on the mouth of the bottle, the air from the balloon is pushed into the bottle and then into the liquid, and then the liquid is pushed out of the straw. Oh, and that creates a beautiful fountain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So what do you think of air pressure now, Rachel? Okay, okay, I'll have to admit, air pressure sounds great. Oh no, guys. What? What? My bathroom. What's wrong uh -huh. with your bathroom? It was flooded when I left the house! Oh what? my god! Oh no, can you please help Okay, me? okay. Oh wait, wait! You're gonna need the sucky thingy! What is it called again? It's called a plunger, my colleague. And thanks, Mr. Pressure will really need this without a problem. Oh, uh, but how? No time, let's go! Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Saint Teresa One. You can come up. <laughs> Very interesting experiments. I'm going to try them at home myself. Okay, judges, questions. Well, that was fun, girls. I mean, you're, you're really good entertainers, really. I, I, I really enjoyed that first, you know, you were singing at the, at the beginning. I mean, that, that, that was a good welcome for, for, for the show. Um, I just, you know, I'm, I'm a scientist, so I ask the hard question. So, um, if you do the same experiment, this is in this air-conditioned stage and so forth, you go outside in the heat, do you think we can, or what is the effect on, say, uh, the balloon over that bottle? Do you think there's some, there's some change in the way that uh, water flows through those straws? Is it faster or is it slower, do you think? With different temperatures. Well, thank you for your question, madam. Yes. Um, actually, we have tried this in various places. We tried it in an air-conditioned room. We've tried it in the School of Science labs, which are like open spaces. And really, it doesn't affect anything. Yeah. It's just purely the air in the balloon that's helping us with this experiment. Thank you for Kami suka sangat dengan kita punya presentasi. <laughs> Tapi, um, you know, I, I'm not a scientist, so I guess I'm, I'm I'm the lowest IQ here. But because I went I went to the science university, so I want to try a scientific uh, issue. Can you tell me why El Nino affects straw and whether it has something to do with uh, air pressure? Thank you. <laughs> Okay, let me rephrase. Is it getting hotter now in Sarawak? Yes. yes, you can say that, yes. Yeah. From the Klabit Highlands right up to the Mukah Lowlands, you are experiencing very severe temperature that has affected even Bras Mario. So I'll, I'll put it to you, yes. Uh, when you presented that to me, it's most relevant to where you are right now. But I just wish you celebrate the ecosystem around you a bit more because I salute you guys. I think Strong is going to save us of all these greenhouse gases emission and CO2 uh, quotas that we're going to have because you have the biggest green and you have the biggest uh, differences of elevations and stuff. So, great presentation, but please apply it more and more to the relevance of your everyday life around you because we do appreciate Srawakians. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right. So, now, it is really, really hot in Sarawak because it is an election season anyway. So yeah, it is really, really hot in Sarawak. So thank you, San Teresa. Thank you for your presentation. Thank you for the song, Mr. Abrash. Mr. Abrash. <laughs> Alright, now let us move.